Pensacola area, especially West Pensacola being impacted at this hour here by 835 this evening. You see this red color here, this is indicative of a potentially strong tornado that will be moving through this area over the next few minutes. We're talking about Orange Beach is the greatest impact area here over the next little bit. And you see over on Doppler Radar, we have a, quite a few red and oranges showing up here. These will be impacting this area here over the next little bit in the western Florida Panhandle, Escambia County, also just in Alabama, so Baldwin County as well, right on the edge of this. We'll be watching it for you closely. Again, though, particularly dangerous situation, tornado warning. But step up just to give you quick details on this, and before we wrap this up here in just a couple minutes, but large, extremely dangerous tornado is located near Orange Beach at 732. It's moving northeast at 35 miles an hour. So areas like Johnson's Beach, Lillian, Myrtle Grove, Warrington, West Pensacola, Bellevue, Brent, Gowden, Inslee, Pensacola International Airport, and Ferry Pass will all be affected here over the next 45 minutes. So you need to be heeding this series and taking this seriously. And I don't know if you heard my mic, but we're getting some updates from the National Weather Service chat, Chesson, and they're just talking about some severe thunderstorm warnings in the proximity of this area being issued. But we'll keep our eyes on those. And before we wrap things up, I want to see a rider rain to the radar here. We have this area of rain out toward the west and some severe weather. Of course, that tornado warning, this threat will translate closer toward us throughout the evening and overnight hours. So again, stay tuned to FSU Weather for extensive coverage of one of the Bigger severe threats we've seen here in our area in a while. We'll have a live show here at 11 o'clock tonight for the latest on 4FSU. That's Comcast Channel 4 here as well as you can watch that on Livestream.com backslash FSU weather. And then we'll be on live stream throughout the overnight and into the morning giving you the information you need to protect you and your family. But for now, I'm Casey Cloud from the FSU weather studio. We'll keep you updated and provide updates as conditions warrant. Otherwise, if we don't have any before that, we'll see you tonight at 11 o'clock.